everyone so today we are doing uh valentine's day themed cupcakes it took a very long time for us to make these they're probably not the best looking cupcakes but we're proud of them so that's all that really matters <laughs> and uh yeah we're just here to share our little recipe just in case you do have some wants a special someone to cook for this valentine's day these were fairly easy nothing too hard yeah, um, we <laughs> attempted at putting in like a heart shaped, a different color batter in these red velvet cupcakes. Um, you can kind of see it in one of them, but we haven't tried them all out yet, so hopefully they look better than the one we show you. But yeah, these are our two of our little cupcakes, and we'll show you everything and the process. And of course, we chose red velvet because it's Valentine's Day, and I think. That's the perfect cake mix to use during these kinds of holidays. So yes, if you want to see our little talk through mm -hmm. slash process of making these cupcakes, please keep watching. Thank you. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye. Alrighty, so for our cupcake ingredients, we will be needing two separate cake mixes. One French vanilla cake mix and the other one will be red velvet. Inside this red velvet um, cake mix, there it actually comes with a frosting packet. So we will be using cream cheese frosting as well. Uh, for other ingredients, we'll be using butter, oil, water, eggs and sprinkles of course okay so beginning with the vanilla cake batter i'm just going to get started and follow the directions in the back of the box so i'm pouring in the big cake mix and then three eggs it up your consistency should look a little something like this now we're ready to pour it into our pan and now we're gonna fill it up about half an inch so And then you want to put it in the oven for about 10, maybe 15 minutes. Um, it's okay it's a little, if it's a little bit undercooked, just because we are going to be putting them in the regular cupcakes, so they're going to bake even more. to 15 minutes and just wait until it's ready. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut our white cake and we're gonna try to make them into little heart um, shaped. Usually it would be best if you have a small cookie cutter but the one I have is too big so I just did a small little heart cutout and then I'm just gonna trace it. Once we cut all this up, we're going to put them, or we're going to mix them into um, our red velvet so the cake can stand out. Okay, so for the red velvet cupcakes, you're going to be needing two eggs. So go ahead and add two eggs. There we are. 
and you'll be needing a, I believe it's, let me check, one fourth of a cup of any kind of oil. In my case, I'm using canola oil. And then for, we'll be using water as well. And you're gonna be using two thirds cup of water. And then we'll start mixing. Okay, and this is what your final product looks like. So this is the consistency right over there. And now we're gonna start lining our cupcakes. And there we have it. We have lined our cupcakes. Now time to fill them up uh, probably a little more than halfway, not too much, probably almost exactly halfway. So basically what we did was we filled the cupcakes up like not even halfway. Uh, we are going to go ahead and put the hearts, the little hearts in just to see, just to measure how much more we need to fill up the cupcake, which kind of looks like we don't need a lot more. Just to cover it up. And we'll do one more. So again, we're putting a little heart in. Then just topping it off. And then you're basically gonna do that for the rest of your cupcakes. And this is what they should look like. You can't really tell there's a heart in this one so we're just gonna pop them in and see how it goes oh, wait. Try it. Mm -mm. keep your hand there because I think it goes out of focus when So you're gonna go ahead and put in your cupcakes for about 20 minutes. So let's go ahead and start that. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and mix our frosting. And the consistency of the frosting should look something like this. gonna do is we're gonna sprinkle on some of the little sprinkles the Valentine's Day sprinkles we brought and I believe for these special cupcakes a little goes a long way you don't need to put a whole bunch of sprinkles on it so here we go 